I am so excited to tell you about this book. I've got a cup of tea. Um, got my lockdown outfit on. <laughs> Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I just wanted to say thank you to anyone who has subscribed to my channel over the past month. Making videos again has given me a real focus during lockdown. Back to today's video. Thank you so much to the publisher for the opportunity to read a pre-release of this book. Now, As Greek As It Gets by Sue Roberts, which is obviously what I'm reviewing today, that is out on the 18th of May. So hopefully this book review will help you decide whether you pop it on your wish list, whether it's something that you download as soon as it comes out. I am so excited to tell you about this book. I think I may have found my new favourite author for escapism. This is big news. I realise this is quite a big claim, bearing in mind I have only read one of this author's books, but I'm putting it out there. I loved it that much that I think she could be my number one author for escapism. The premise of the book is that Alice is engaged to her fiance, Max, um, and they are planning their dream wedding. Now, Max is getting a little bit carried away with the wedding planning. Um, he seems to be inviting anyone and everyone he comes across. He has ordered peacocks to be roaming around the venue and he's invited Stavros Flatley as the entertainment at the reception. Now, Alice, on the other hand, is someone who doesn't really like being centre of attention and would rather a more low-key, laid-back, intimate affair. So, kind of opposite ends of the spectrum. Anyway, she's going with it, it's all good, and then her friends take her off for her Hindu to Malia in Crete. This, for me, is perfect timing. Anyone who can whisk me away, abroad, somewhere beautiful, is winning because at the moment I am desperately wanting a holiday. So a large chunk of the book is set in Crete. Sue Roberts describes Greece so perfectly. This book will make you want to book a holiday to Greece as soon as lockdown is over. Anyway, while Alice is in Crete on her hen do, she, I mean, it wouldn't be chiclet, would it, if she didn't meet some hot Greek guy while she was out there. They have an instant connection and I'm not going to tell you what happens, no spoilers in any of my book reviews, but that was exactly what Alice needed. This book is pure escapism, a perfect summer read, perfect lockdown read. It is everything that I could hope for in a chick lit book. Honestly, when I was reading it, I was like, this is is just getting better and better. I devoured this book in two days. Um, for me, that is quick. I didn't want to put it down. When I did put it down, I was thinking, when can I pick it up next? When's my next opportunity to read? That's how good it was. Um, it's not a particularly long book. It's about 200 pages, I think. If you've seen my previous book reviews, you've seen that the last few I've given seven out of 10. It's a solid score. Um, however, this one has got to get nine out of 10. It's only not getting 10 out of 10 because actually I would have liked it to have been a bit longer. Um, obviously that just shows how much I really enjoyed this book. I have so much more content coming your way. I mean we have weeks of nothing ahead of us probably so um, I'm going to be doing a lot more reading so expect to see a lot more book reviews especially pre-releases. All of the summer chiclet is being released now so there is so many good books out at the moment. I will also be doing some product reviews. I've recently got a Kindle now, I am a physical book lover, so I was very against Kindle reading. I had one, God knows how many years ago, hated it, absolutely hated it, but I really wanted to give it another go. So keep your eyes peeled for that, which will be the Kindle Paperwhite review coming soon. And I would like to do some travel content, which obviously is pretty tricky at the moment. Um, but I'm thinking about doing some reviews around places that I've been, potentially Dubai being one of them. If you're interested in any of that and you haven't already subscribed, please do. I would love for you to join us. Thank you so much for watching today's speedy review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps so much. Um, and I hope to see you again back here very soon where I will have another video for you. Take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye.